Hello, everybody. It's great to be back with all you guys. Hurrah, hurrah for the suffragettes. For if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have the 19th Amendment in the Constitution allowing women the right to vote. But wasn't voting allowed for women prior to that? Absolutely. 50 years before that, the first state that allowed women the right to vote was the Garden State of New Jersey. And even though it was a rough ride in cowboy man country, it didn't stop them from giving women that right. Where in 1776, New Jersey's first constitution gave voting rights, quote, to all the inhabitants of this colony of full age who are worth of 50 pounds. And many women took it full advantage of that. And the next state that was in line with them on their bandwagon was Kentucky Fried Chicken, Kentucky, and that happened in 1838, and then it was Kansas in 1861, and Wyoming in 1869. So we do want to give the suffragettes the credit they deserve, but we also want to let them know that voting was permitted prior to that, ladies. So let's have some lemonade. Okay, so having said that, let's talk about feminism and how um, it is beautiful and um, that women should embrace being old, embrace being old fashioned. It's actually classy if you ask me. What's wrong with having a woman that has um, nurturing and kind demeanor and she expresses that to her parents and to her kids? I think that's something to be cherished. That's a blessing if you ask me. But the media wants to indoctrinate the women to believe otherwise that men are liars and scumbags and that they should throw sacred marriages out the or the idea of it out the window yeah and why why do you need a man when you could be one right and that why do you want one man when you can have as many as your heart desires and if the condom were to break the abortion clinic will happily welcome you into their doors. Uh, they also um, are trying to make women look like victims, victims at the hands of their husbands. What are you doing cooped up in the kitchen making those delicious app hot apple pies for your family, which I've never done, but I see family women have done that. And go... Being in the workforce is the thing for you. Get out of the kitchen. Stop being a homemaker or a caregiver to your kids because you're doing all the wrong things. That's not in anymore. What is in is you being who you are, knowing that you're the victim of the hands of a man. That will take the man out of sight and out of mind, right? Just take men out of the equation. There's no need for it. Out of sight, out of mind. And some women, unfortunately, they've fallen in, in a trap. So has this woman that I read an article about. She's far gone, I believe. Um, a zombie. She wrote in the ar our article, Criminalization, Criminalizing Women's Bodies, and that conservatives are the cause of it. Something like that. Uh, the author, her name is Lori Penny. And she goes and says this. I happen to believe that a six-week-old fetus with a heartbeat but no limbic brain activity is less sentient than what most Republicans eat for breakfast and da-da-da, whatever it is. Well, Penny, can I give you some accurate information? Do you know that the early signs of brain development and activity in a fetus starts at five to six weeks? Yeah, that's why it's important not to take the media for face value because then you get the wrong information, Penny. Yeah. But I don't blame you. Well, I blame you just a little bit because you didn't get your education, Penny. Now, she's fallen victim to the, um, the media trying to indoctrinate the women. And uh, Penny goes into saying the following. She says, but the crucial connective point, the point that gets shunted to the side in the culture war rhetoric of abortion outrage is this. It is equally monstrous to inflict the same punishment on a woman in her 30s who doesn't want to be a mother. Just because the condom broke on a Tinder hookup 
She too deserves bodily autonomy. She should not have to bet for it just because some religious extremists and Viagra addled Republican lawmakers are frightened of women who F-U-C-K freely and without remorse. If that's liberation, then I want to say F to that one. F liberation, if you will. It's okay, women, to be old-fashioned, to have those values. That is the only thing that will unite us as the American people and not divide us, which is what the media is trying to do. They're trying to take men out of the equation, ethnically cleanse them, if you will, making us feel like we're victims, which we're not. I'm a victim right now because talking about the apple pies, I feel, and so desire to make one right now just for the heck of it because I love apple pie. So having said that, I want to give a shout out to my Facebook, uh, YouTube, Bestie Sherry, and for, to GS Texas Rowdy, GS Texas Rider. Give a shout out to you and say hello to all the viewers and wishing you all a beautiful and blessed weekend.